Hello everyone, Robert Rambles here, and welcome back to WoW Classic TBC and our Human Mage. We are going to try to wrap things up on at least the eastern side of Zenger Marsh today. Starting off with going into the Deadmire. And uh, then we'll do some stuff down here. We need Feral Fen Idols from this area. Uh, and then we'll be moving more into the western part of the zone, which will be good. It'll be some newer areas for us to check out that we haven't really done a lot in. And yeah, that's the plan for today. Don't know if we'll finish Zenger Marsh. We, we may, in fact, finish Zenger Marsh today. It's entirely possible. But yeah, we'll see how it goes. Thank you guys for being here, for clicking on the video, and I hope you are all doing well. I actually took a day off of playing. Spent all of uh, Saturday, which for me, recording this was yesterday, with the family, actually doing stuff outside. Uh, which, if you've been around the channel for a while, you know that like I don't do a lot outside in the summer because I really, really hate the heat. But yesterday was actually tempered enough to allow for most of the day outside activity. It was a nice change. And then of course today, it's, it's right back to uh, being incredibly hot. <laughs> So, you know, a short reprieve, much needed though, took the day off of playing and uh, let our character soak up some rested XP. And yeah, now I feel kind of recharged, so hoping to make some decent progress over today and tomorrow. Tomorrow being, uh, you know, the Monday before the pre-patch. So yeah, pre-patch coming this Tuesday. And I am pretty excited. I'm, I'm excited to get on the Death Knight, start that journey. And I'm looking forward to seeing what the Fresh Start server is actually like. We are going to go with a Blood Elf Paladin. And we're not going to be rushing. We're not going to be trying to hit 70 by the time Wrath comes out. Because at this point, we know that we're going to be taking either the Mage or the Warrior in first. So unless something like really drastic happens. Unless something really, really drastic happens. We'll be taking either the mage or the warrior into Northrend as our first character that uh, does that content. So we're not going to be rushing to get the paladin up, but we'll, we'll, we'll give it some time. We'll invest some time into it and see what leveling is like in the Wrath pre-patch with the XP buff. And I'm really interested to see the paladin class changes and just see if it feels different over time. I know one of the big changes that's going to affect the class early on is I'm pretty sure that you don't use up your seal when you judge, right? Don't you keep your seal up so you're not constantly refreshing it every time you cast judgment? Pretty sure that's a change uh, that happened. Do we need to get these here? I mean, we could. We could get them here. And we also need to get the samples though, so Hydra and Bog Lord. So we'll keep an eye on the, the tendrils, but I don't think we need to focus those. Let's head a little bit further to where we're going to find the actual bog lords. I like this dock that, you know, used to go into water, but now just terminates abruptly. Well, someone is definitely in the area. And they're killing themselves some hydras. It's probably them over there. Human mage level 69. Nice. Let's skin the leavings. We are at 334 skinning, which, uh, well, we, we kind of need to get it maxed out, so we do need to keep working on it as consistently as we can. Got some bog lords here that are up. Let's start things off right by uh, getting buffs up using our frost elemental cooldown, and by frost elemental, I do mean water elemental. So not all the guys back here are going to be lords. Apparently they're they're not like occupying solely an area, but they're kind of spread out in between the others. Here's a couple up this way. Way out of range. Way 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 out of range for that. 
Not out of range for our Frostbolt, though, with our extended Arctic Reach. Wonder if they have social aggro. Oh, they do. Yeah. They definitely do. Let's give our Frost Buddy another shot here. See what he can do for us. Definitely helping us out in a pinch there. There we go, there's a Bog Lord Tendril, that's what we're looking for. Eventually some of the Hydra will respawn. I guess the Hydras are really only in this lower area. I haven't really seen them walking around out anywhere else. And this guy over here... This guy is now certainly farming the same exact guys that we're trying to get. Uh, a lot of people are doing this, apparently. Oh, we have made a terrible mistake. Yeah. Once these guys drop off of that guy who's running away, they're gonna... Oh, I thought they were going to come right back onto us. I guess we got really lucky with that. Maybe he didn't hit them. Is that the difference? I thought once we were on a player's aggro chain, like, everything was going to default to us. But maybe, maybe he didn't hit them. Maybe he was just running from them. That was lucky. I don't know if we would have been able to handle all those guys. Uh, let's do this. Oh, okay. So the Withered Giants can also drop the Bog Lord. T okay. I'm like getting the two quests confused, kind of, but I, I do need to be targeting just the Bog Lords because we need Withered Bog Lord Sample. And we need five of them, and we currently have zero of them. This is going to be an interesting quest, especially if uh, the drop rate is going to stay this bad and the area is going to stay this farmed out. There are lots of people here right now. Uh, for such a small area and for such a small spawn rate, like it's not spawning a ton of bog lords in. That guy definitely wanted that one. Or maybe not, he could have grabbed the one over here. Yeah, we're getting the items for the other quest. We're just not getting any items for this quest. Hmm. Uh, either way, at least we're making progress on something. Could be worse. It could be worse, we could be Oom. Um. Oh, wait. <laughs> Definitely not a good time to be Oom um when you're competing for mobs with other people. Yeah. Maybe we'll get one of these Hydras.
Um, attack. Do something. No heat wave. Eventually I'll, I'll learn my buttons again and, you know, one day off apparently I forget how to play. It's fine. Uh, that one's already being attacked and there is nothing else around alive that we need. Oh, Kidoki! I really don't know about this. Here we go. You just respawned. Go ahead and make some food and water. We're gonna have to do that eventually. We might as well do it now. We'll load up our mana ruby. And then we will eat and drink. And look at the mobs off in the distance that someone else will pull if we don't get to them soon. It's a bog lord over here. Oh, that one's going down. Okay. I think I am going to buy a bunch of stacks of the Dreonic water, the water that's slightly better than the water we can make, because we just have a lot of mana at this point, and it's kind of painful to uh, spend so much time having to drink it back. Oh, you're, you're basically defeated. Uh, let's see. Oh, nope, that one's being pulled. Do we want to go do something else? I'm, I'm really wondering. Uh, what I want to do is I want to put myself in the queue for Underbog, because I would like to complete the one dungeon that we have uh, in here. That being said, I, I really wouldn't mind running Mana Tombs. I really wouldn't mind uh, maybe even a Crips run. Oh, Robert, that's not list, man. That's clear. Yeah, I'm really on top of things today, as you guys can tell. Oops. I don't really want to do slave pens again. I didn't really didn't really enjoy slave pens. Uh, okay, list self. There we go. Look at all those people, guys. That's a lot of people. A lot of people looking for activities. Yes. Yes. And yes. Resist. Not, not good. It's really painful when they resist that first frostbolt that you really rely on to slow them down a little bit. Hey, we got a single item. Guys. We've been here this whole time. We just got our first quest item off of either the Bog Lords or the Hydra. That is what it takes. Maybe now that we've got one, that'll kind of open the floodgates. I am not doing a good job of starting from my max distance. Starting from way too close. Which is, you know, basically wasting talent points. That missed. Way, 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 way. What? You guys saw that, right? Did you guys see what just happened? Am I, am I losing my mind? He like faded out and then respawned in a slightly different position. That was a little bit weird. That was just a little bit weird. Huh. It's a good view of us. Shooting from within the corpse of a fallen bog lord. No items from these guys yet.
I like how the heads nip at each other and like torment each other. I've never noticed that before. That's really cool. Huh. There's a couple of bog lords here. I'm gonna eat our mana ruby so maybe we can get both of them. I think we're gonna pull both of them anyway just by doing this. And then maybe we're gonna have to cold snap and get our water buddy back out. No, I guess they're not going to social act. Oh, there they go. Let's run in here and do this. Let's cold snap. Get this guy going. They're doing osmosis. I don't think we're being hit by it because we're way back here. We got our first Withered Bog Lord sample. Our first one. Well, we did have a good run there. We had quite a few guys up for a moment that we could fight. Uh, the drop rate is just pretty pretty low on, on all these guys, unfortunately. It's not too bad, though. At least we get to work on our skinning a little bit. I don't know if we're actually getting many skill ups. So there, we got one just now. All I have to do is talk about it. It'll, it'll happen. Let's go ahead and use Evocate here, and then we'll mount up and do a little scouting. Well, we were uh, a second too late for that one.
Uh, is the shaman going to live? I think so. Shaman are pretty resilient. He needs to finish this one off, though. He's good. And we have an instant respawn. Let's see if we can get all the way out to this one before uh, somebody else does. I think we've got it. Let's go ahead and drink. Alright, we are slowly adding members to the group. We have a rogue, a hunter, a priest. So I'm assuming the priest is healing, so I guess that means we are looking for a tank. Yeah, at this point I've kind of decided that, like, we don't have to be in a rush to get this character to 70. Because we're, we're not going to do that before the pre-patch happens. And we have five weeks before Wrath comes out, so... We don't have to rush. I can do stuff that I want to do, like just do a random dungeon, just even not having the quest in there or anything. Uh, and that's going to be a lot more enjoyable, I think than feeling like I have to just quickly, quickly grind out uh, to get to max level. I have had a lot of fun focusing this character and have the same thing with the mage in Outland. It was really beneficial to me to spend time on one character, just one character consistently. That's going to be a little bit of a change going into pre-patch. You know, we're going to have the Death Knight going and we're going to have a fresh start paladin going we are going to still be consistent with our mage and make sure that 
she's getting some love. Uh, that being said, she could use rested experience too. Like even having one day off was a bunch of rested XP and we're not pressed for time. At this point, it's going to be really hard for me to decide who I want to take through the, uh, to Northrend first, whether it's going to be the mage or whether it's going to be the warrior. It's pretty tough. Um, we'll get to play both of them more once we can do the, uh, the invasions, the Scourge invasions. And I believe those open up on the 6th of September. Maybe it's the 6th that we have the pre-quest where you find, like, the plagued grain shipments in various places. I think there's some in Booty Bay. Uh, and maybe it's the following week that the Scourge... Either way, we'll get to play on both of them during the, the pre-patch events. And hopefully get them both some gear. So that uh, whenever they do cross into Northrun, they've, they've got some of that gear. So yeah, we'll, we'll have time to decide that too. We'll have time to get the mage to level. We'll have time to play both the warrior and the mage during the pre-patch events. That start up a couple weeks after pre-patch actually launches. So we're going to have a lot of really fun stuff to do. All of it, all of it leading us directly into Northrend. Uh, where we're going to pick a character and we're going to focus that character until we get that character to cap before we do anything else. We need one more Withered Bog Lord sample. I don't think so. Nah, uh, you've got you you've got one, didn't you? Didn't you get the one back there? You guys are grouped up, right? You don't need two of them. We'll take this one for you. You can uh, go focus that one. Good try, though. The cool thing is we completed the other quest that we had gotten from the southwestern part of the zone. There'll be less for us to do later on. We're probably going to get a summon any minute, I would guess. But there we go, we're done with that one. Of course, we couldn't be quite so lucky with the Hydra here. I'll take that one.
And hey, that's awesome. We were able to complete both of these quests before we got a summon. That uh, actually makes me really happy. The question is, is anybody, is anybody heading down here or should we? Uh, the answer is there are three people at the stone, so summons are going to be going out uh, and are maybe going out right now. So we'll just be patient here for another minute. I did empty the inventory out, mostly. We did pick up a lot of these clams. But yeah, let's take the... Take the summon and get into things here. I need to get flight points down here, or the flight point here, so maybe after this run... I'll just run us out and do that. That can be useful. Uh, we can quest here anytime, but we'll probably finish everything in Zangermarsh before we do so. Let's grab all of this stuff. And so what did we end up with? A 66 Paladin tank, 65 Rogue, 66 Hunter and a 64 Dwarf Priest on heels. Uh, gonna go buy you at the start of the run. That's uh, one time to do it. Now we've been putting this group together for a while. Uh, I'm just gonna say using the facilities at any point during the assembling of the group would have been good. Maybe not like as soon as we all walk in hyped to uh, get started in the dungeon. But there we are, a Motley crew. One of us with uh, no bladder planning. And I'm gonna drink some coffee while we wait. Uh, what level are these guys? Level 64, that's good. We could go ahead and make a mana ruby. We could generate some... Oops, that's not what I want. <laughs> He's opening a portal to Ironforge. Uh, let's make some water, and if anyone wants water, they can open trade with us. Conceivably, we could have quite a few people who need water, so let's make some more so that we're actually ready. That should be good. I love being able to buff the party with one button. It's it's so amazing. <laughs> it's basically the best thing. All right, looks like we're going. Uh, we'll we'll do, we'll do a little single target here for a second. We'll we'll give them a minute. I want to see. Let's find out early how if we're gonna be able to AOE in here or not. Let's find out early. We can. Is it worth it? That I don't know. Ouch. Well, that's very rude of him. I need to figure out what's causing that. Maybe it's random. It could be random. But it's painful, whatever it is. We'd probably need to keep Ice Barrier up if we're going to be getting slapped by stuff like that. I would rather not be taking chunks of damage just from getting charged here if we can't avoid it.
not getting any crits on these guys, but they are level 64, so... Could have something to do with it. You start to realize how much we truly rely on those crits for our damage uh, once you're in a run where you're not getting a lot of them. Are we going to come out here, or is he going to pull back? I guess, oh yeah, we're coming out here, we're clear, it's fine. Uh, I need to try to do something different, because we're not dealing any damage single targeting. Maybe if we do some bigger pulls, we'll have the opportunity to AoE. But yeah, we are uh, not really pulling our weight here so far. Oops. Well, that looks like the room cleared. Now we're going to do the boss. We'll see how we do on a single target boss. I don't remember this guy's mechanics. Every time I say that I keep waiting for the enemy to have a spell reflect, because of course that's really the one thing that will instantly kill us, is if we reflect a couple of giant crits. Let's do this. Shifts into the void. Now, like, I can't hit him here, I don't believe. Here, he's back. And that's the reflect. That's the reflect. <laughs> ah, son of a puppy. So the void, the void shift is the reflect. And I guess we got hit by our spell. There was no saving either. Yeah, I thought I stopped casting in time. That was uh, pretty great. You know, I, I knew it was going to happen, right? I knew we were going to get killed to a spell reflect.
We're gonna focus the priest down first. Well, we could do some AoE here though. I'm gonna let them get some aggro. That priest is moving real slow. Ouch. Rude. Yeah, the single target's so great that I don't even think it's worth AoEing anything in here. There's never gonna be a pull of, like, m many that stay alive for long enough to have it matter. Too much single target damage between the hunter and the rogue. So, maybe we just stick the single target. I feel like we're gonna pull back here, but I could be wrong. I could be totally wrong. Um, yeah, we are pulling back. Okay, perfect. Looks like we have the Nexus Terror next. These things fear, I'm pretty sure, so... If we stay back here, maybe we won't get feared out into another group. We do have a couple of priests, like... Are they gonna be able to heal the Nexus Terror? I somehow doubt it. We'll keep an eye out. Is that when they're gonna get feared? We can remove the fear? Or am I looking for something else? I'll try to keep an eye on the tank. Thank you for also whispering me. Nothing seemed to happen to the tank there, so I'll keep my eyes open, but... Maybe it's only the big void walkers that we need to worry about it.
All right, we'll pay attention on this Nexus Terror and see if we can uh, decurse the tank. I didn't see anything negative happen to the tank there. No healing. I really dislike the idea that I'm probably going to have to have some kind of add-on to help me track when someone is cursed so that I can decurse them. Because try as I might, I, I haven't been able to visually identify any time when I might need to decurse the tank. Maybe if I, uh, maybe if I go into raid profiles, maybe if I do this. Maybe that will show me. 
it's showing me the buffs that I have up. Display only dispellable debuffs. Okay. So maybe that will help me. Uh, what happened to our water elemental? Did I did I de-click him by an accident? Well, that's fun. I don't know what I did. Something really dumb though, guaranteed. Two-handed sword, strength stam, improved crit strike. Yeah, I, <laughs> Tank was acting a little funny there, it seemed, but they, they weren't cursed, so I don't know. I'm hoping this will show me if something pops up that we can decurse. Looks like we're going to be pulling back into this hallway here so we can set up back here. Got it. Saw it that time. Okay, so that's what I'm looking for. Little purpley thing. 
Thank you for decurs. Yeah, I figured it out. Figured it out. Just needed to know what I was looking for. And I probably need to, like, rebind that somewhere so that I can more easily use it in dungeons, at least. Obviously not something we'll need a lot out of a dungeon, but I do need to have it somewhere where I can... I already have to come over here and click his frame. I don't want to have to come back and click something else. So I'm going to have to just keybind that to R for the time being. do this. That's what we'll do. This this can live right down here. That way it'll draw my eye whenever I need to decurse. When we're in a dungeon, we'll make sure that decurse is set to a keybind that we can hit. And we'll just do it like that. It's perfect. I I'm glad this shows me because I would have been pretty annoyed if I needed an add-on to tell me.
kind of worried about getting line of sighted from the tank when I have to decurse him down here, so... Yeah, yeah, that wouldn't have worked if we had been at the bottom of the stairs. Oh, we did pull some ads. It's not really good. Now that time he didn't do the curse at all. So that's interesting. I guess they don't have to do it, but they typically do it. Good to know. Time to shine. Sounds good. I don't know what that means. Maybe it means that the AO that melee does not do well here. I, I don't know. Or maybe he's oh he's talking about these guys. Okay, yeah. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, sure. Yeah, time to shine. We can, uh, definitely just. I don't have the talent on my blizzard that slows them down, so... That would be a good spot to have that uh, talented up. Yeah, we would need to put some points into improved Blizzard, which we may. It's either that or improving our Cone of Cold damage, which we don't use Cone of Cold a lot. We use it sometimes to finish things off. Okay, let's get all of our mana back here. I think we have to kill the beacons. 
but we'll see. I see. The hunter is marking the boss, so... Oh, there we go. Focus beacons. That's what I thought. But the hunter's mark of the boss is telling me the hunter is going to focus the boss. So there's that. I have longed for a good adventure. Okay, the beacons are down for now. I have such fascinating things to show you. Beacons back up. I must bid you farewell. And it dropped a bow I've never seen. Ethereal warp bow. Very cool looking. Stamina and crit strike rating. Awesome. We got his wrappings, so that is uh both of our quests in here completed and I think we'll stick around and we'll help them out with the escort quest we don't need it yet I'm pretty sure it's the result of a chain from somewhere in Terracar I don't quite remember but we will stick around and help them with that assuming that they're still gonna go through with it oh wait do we have do we have this we could turn this in Okay, yeah, that's a turn-in, but that's not the escort. That's 33,900 experience, though. Pretty huge. And this is probably all the rest of what I'm going to do in this episode, guys, is help them with the escort quest, and then I'm going to run... Oh, we can, we can do this. I didn't know this was uh, something we could just pick up. I didn't see a pickup. Or anything. But yeah, apparently we can do this now. I don't know why I thought we couldn't. Anyway, yeah, if you want to stick around and watch the escort quest, feel free to. We're going to do it. Uh, it's going to be great. If not, all we're going to do from here on out is the escort quest, and then I'm going to run us over to the town nearby and get the flight points. So you won't be missing much, I don't think. Although this fi these fights can be interesting. It spawns waves of mobs at us. The last fight is kind of like a boss fight, but he doesn't drop any gear, so... It's kind of a ripoff, but that's how it is. We do get gear from the quest, so... Uh, will we get anything we need? Crit strike, damage, and spell pen. Yeah, I, I think we could equip that. And then we could get, uh... We can get pants. But... Yeah, it doesn't... not very good. First one is the first. Oh, okay, I guess maybe that was a rough pull. Not a good idea for the healer to group up. Yeah, probably not. Probably not. It would be less awkward if he wasn't stopped right inside of the corpse of the boss. It'd be, it'd be a little less awkward if he would keep going through that point.
All right, we'll keep our eyes sharp on this Nexus Terror for the curse. He, he does stand here for a long time at the end, and uh, nothing seems to happen for a minute. It does seem like some of these events could use some a little, a little bit of tender love and care by Blizzard. They could just come through, maybe speed up the walk a little bit, speed up the dialogue, speed up strange bits like this where we're waiting for something to happen, or we're just waiting for him to move again. Yeah, it's a little bit weird. You would think it probably wouldn't be too hard to uh, take a take a shot at some of these events and just speed them up, make them more fluid. Yeah, it is like it's wasting time. Yeah, it is. It should be about respecting people's time. Like if you're gonna have cool events like this, like have them take the time that they need, but don't have long moments when the NPC seems confused to the point where you start to wonder to yourself, "Is this bugged out?" Because I've had that thought a couple of times with some different quests, like. When the guy's standing there, not talking anymore, not moving, and nothing else is happening, you start to wonder, gee, did I bug it? Alright, quest complete, 
And yeah, totally worth it. It was a really smooth run. We had we had to learn how to be a mage and how to decurse. So it's better that happens now than later. So yeah, pretty pretty happy with the result of that. We could turn a couple of these in, and then I'm gonna take us over to the nearby Alliance town. Uh, we will take the belt. I don't think these are for us. These seem like they'd be really good for... Uh, for a healer. We wouldn't get any intellect. I would probably just cram spell power gems into the red sockets, which still wouldn't give us any intellect, so I'm not going to take them. I'll take the plate to sell it. In this case, tons of experience from here, guys. 33,900 experience for each of the three quests. That just, like, pushed us forward through the level immensely, and, uh, that's awesome. I forget that a lot of the Akanai dungeons have their quest, like, right outside of the dungeon portal. So, that's always pretty good. Let's get ourselves on up out of here, which I think we do over here. And we'll take ourselves over to here. I'm not gonna pick anything up here, I I'm just gonna get the flight point. That way we do have it for the future. That being said, when, when we do come in here to quest, we're probably going to start up here by coming from Shatrath and uh, stopping over at the Cenarian Thicket. But it, it won't hurt to have the flight point uh, for the town over here. I'm going to run and get that on my own, guys. I won't waste any more of your time here. Thank you all so much for being here, especially if you did make it to the end of this video. You are a legend, and I greatly appreciate it. Everybody take care of themselves out there and take care of each other. And we will see you back here again in Outland really soon. Bye for now.